So welcome to this short video, which is about the heart. Now, we could talk about anything. We could talk about any subject in the world. And many people would have different opinions on this particular subject. So I always find it best to talk about things that are universally recognizable. Because then we come to a place of common understanding. And this is not just people agreeing with one person's opinion, it's agreeing with what, what is, what actually is, and what is observable as being true. Because there is far too much disagreement and conflict on this planet as it is. So especially in spiritual, spiritual circles, we should steer away from anything which instigates disagreement or argument or conflict. So I always find that focusing upon that which unites us is the most sensible course of, act, course of action and the most sensible subject for communication. So this is why I like to talk about the heart and I like to talk about love and peace because we all want these things and we all need these things. We all need these things to enjoy this life. Now, the world is very much divided at the moment. You can see there are people arguing everywhere. There are people disagreeing with each other and there are wars being fought, which is really the ultimate manifestation of conflict when bombs are being dropped and people are losing their lives. So we really need to adhere to the things which bring us together, adhere to the things which bring us back to our shared sense of humanity. Now everybody, and I, I do believe this is universally the case, that everybody has a heart that cares. And even if it cares about something so, so small and so, so insignificant, it's that caring tendency that unites all human beings, that need and desire to care. Now some people, like saints and sages and holy people, they care about everybody. They don't just care for themselves, they don't just care for their family and their friends. They care about everybody because they don't see any separation. They don't see that one person is closer to them than another person. They don't see that their brother or their mother is more important than the stranger on the street who is hungry. They see each living creature as equally important. Even animals, the importance of their life is equal to that of any other living creature. And this is where the seeds of compassion come from. It's recognizing that every living creature needs love. Every living creature needs care. Every living creature needs to be free of suffering. And when our, when our heart is open, and when we feel the suffering of other beings, other creatures, then we want to alleviate that suffering. We want to help to lessen that suffering. Because it's in our nature. It's in our nature. Because we are caring creatures. We are creatures that naturally and instinctively care. So when we focus on this, when we focus on this caring instinct, and we focus on this in other people as well, when we recognize that everybody has a heart, everybody has a desire and a need to care, then we find that we see family everywhere. We see we are one human family, we are one caring and compassionate human family, with many members of the family who are struggling, who are in the grip of addiction and sickness, sickness that makes them hurt each other or enter into conflict with each other. And so there are so many members of the human family that need our help, that need to remember their peaceful and caring nature. So the best way to help them 
is to be a peaceful and caring person so that they can see how to be. They can see the potential for themselves because we all have the potential to be caring and compassionate, loving, giving. This is our potential and it's not difficult because when we exercise these aspects of our human nature we feel deeply fulfilled in our heart. We feel a sense of joy and a sense of purpose in our life because the heart is active. Our heart is serving its purpose as a vessel of love and care. And this is the purpose for every living creature, every human being on the planet, is to be a vessel of love and care. And as we come closer to activating this part of our being, as we come closer to bringing, bringing this way of being into our lives, as our selfish ego becomes less and less influential in our lives, and we become more, become more and more caring and compassionate, then we realize that this is what enriches life. This is what brings harmony and peace to the world around us. This is what makes us feel joyful. So all we need to do is remember, remember that we have a purpose and that our heart has an important purpose in this world, which is to give and to care. And if we are not exercising this, then we start to feel that life is pointless. We start to feel that life is going nowhere. Because a life lived in the grip of the selfish ego is going nowhere. It is not contributing to the, the peace and the global evolution that is taking place on this planet. And we need to be a part of this. It is, it is our destiny to be a part of this global evolution towards a more loving, compassionate and caring civilization. And all we need to do is to remember our heart. Remember that we are here to give, to care, to help, and to love.